you know, a lot of, a lot of people will say that they're like not on anything when they're just not on much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that's a lot of, a lot of my friends are like, I'm not really on it's anything. Like, it's like the, uh, the calorie thing, right? Like if it's under a certain amount, they can say it's zero. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's, I guess it's the same thing. Uh, how do you feel about people, you know, just kind of saying that you're lucky that you have, you know, good genetics. You're like what, six, one, six, two, and you're like two fifty five, two fifty. Yeah. I mean, you're pretty, you're pretty jacked motherfucker, right? <laughs> like, how do you feel about that? I mean, you didn't choose your parents, uh, but they both happen to be, they're both Nigerian, correct? Yeah. Yeah. And, and you, you have, clearly you have good genetics. Uh, do you feel that you have like amazing genetics and that you were just kind of gifted this body or do you feel, you know, you halfway earned it or earned it all the way or what are yeah. your thoughts on that? You know, um, so it used to really piss me off <laughs> when I, when I used to hear that, when, like when I started getting on social media and started posting things up, um, and then people would like, you know, they would say things about like, ah, you know, you're probably not natty or you, this and that. It would initially piss me off because I was like, okay, now I did put a lot of work into what I do. I've been training for a long time. I did try and learn as much as I could about this. And yes, I have good genetics, but that doesn't mean I don't work hard for what I do. What it, was you, the, uh, there was like a hashtag, wasn't there? Like it was uh, not BBC, but it was like some <laughs> BBC that, genetics. Is that what it was? B, well, BBC genetics is, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go down that road just a little bit. But uh, BBC is, as you know, Big Black Cock Genetics. Um, and it's like a lot of people use that I term. thought it was Big Black Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I was that, like, oh, I want a sip of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey now <laughs> no you would you would hear that term a lot in like the the bodybuilding community because okay i mean let's just be real a lot of the times when you go to a lot of these not just natural bodybuilding shows but a lot of these npc bodybuilding shows you will see a lot of really jacked black guys on stage they there tends to be a certain physique when it comes to the elite african-american or african athlete that you you see it yeah, NFL you see it on, ba- you see it on a basketball court on you the see NFL it, uh, fields NFL field yeah a lot of them are I mean there's there's a lot of white dudes that are in good shape and they're you know uh, throwing down as well but they're not they're not usually like the guys that are like shredded yeah you know? there are there are some but usually yeah. right usually it's African American yeah, right? yeah or it's you know it's it's LeBron James in junior high and you're just like <laughs> what the heck right? is going yeah. on what is here? up with LeBron he looks James. like a grown man <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah. I've, I've said before on this podcast that our, our version of uh, LeBron James is Larry Bird <laughs> 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 just goes to show you how screwed up now what a great athlete Larry Bird was but it's a different kind of athlete right yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is and it, it it's <laughs> So like the, the, the whole BBC genetics thing, uh, there was, there was a time a few years ago where I was just like, it really annoyed me. Cause I'm like, okay, yeah, this, this black person has great genetics, but you're kind of just like, you're saying, ah, he won the show. Cause he has those BBC genetics. And you know, at the end of the day, when it does come to progression in terms of athletics or sport or I mean school with individuals who have really high IQs and for some reason they they seem to pick up on things much faster than other people. We don't look at that like that when it comes to sport. When we look at it when it comes to sport, it's like oh, everyone believes that they should be able to achieve the elite of the elite. And if they can't achieve that, then it's because the elite of the elite they're they're cheating or doing something. That that's in sport. But when it comes to things in terms of like academia or someone who's extremely gifted at playing the piano, they can, for some reason at five years old, they heard something on the screen, they had a keyboard and they played it. Gets right? a savant. You, you, like, like seriously, but- Gets praised right away. Get, gets pra- exactly. But they, they have an innate talent for something, mm-hmm. which then they work hard at and they become amazing at it. Um, and I was, I mean, I was lucky enough when I started weight training when I was 13, I got really, really big, really, really fast. Um, and all the content that I put forward on YouTube, yes, I know that I look the way I look, but at the same time, I put the content forward with the intention of helping people get to their best potential. I've never said, if you take a supplement or if you do this or that, you can look like me or you can be as strong as me. But if you do things in this certain way, hopefully it'll help you to achieve the level that is going to be best for you. And you'd be surprised at where you can get, even if it doesn't look like me, like, you know what I mean? Um, so it's like in this realm, uh, of, of physical sports, people don't think about that automatically when they see somebody who is an outlier and they have innate talents for that, it's because of something else. It's not because they were talented and they also worked hard. And I think it's very hard for, I mean, it's very hard for anybody when they look at any type of sport to, to be like, they see something and someone doing something great. And obviously they want to achieve that, but 
maybe that's just like not where you have the most talent. It's hard to talk about and it's hard to hear. Like I look at basketball players and I know I'm not going to be a professional basketball player no, how, no matter how much I try. I may be gifted athletically, but there's just certain things on the court that they do that I wouldn't have any capacity to do, you know, no yeah. matter how much I want it. Yeah, those guys are amazing. Unbelievable. One, one of my favorite quotes from the older gym, the previous location was Dan. He said, uh, if that guy's natty, then I'm skinny. <laughs> <laughs> that is a good quote. Yeah. Yeah. Dan's but, not very skinny. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like when, when it comes to that, like I sent you a, a picture of uh, that one guy, Akune, Derek Akune. Oh yeah. Akune Matata is his name on Instagram. And um, Derek, he's like my genetic twit. He's also Nigerian. Um, he's 240. He's jacked. He is disgustingly strong. Like if you look at his numbers, I think he's squatting 680 something, Jeez. benching 440 something, deadlifting in the mid sevens at this point. How would I spell his last name? <laughs> A-K-U-N-N-E. There he is. Akune Matata, right? <clears throat> he's also just some Nigerian black, jack black dude, right? <laughs> Russ Swole. You know who Russ Swole yeah, is? Yeah, yeah. He's unbelievable. Also, it's just a... And he competes at like 180 pounds or something like yeah, that. Yeah, right? and he, he like, he like people get these, you know, send him that all the time. But I think he was, he, he was lucky enough not to have put Natty in his username, which I think was my downfall <laughs> <laughs> from the start. I shouldn't have done that. I didn't realize, but yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. So, you know, there's a, uh, you've heard people talk about this a lot. You know, you, you don't get to pick your parents, you know, and I, you know, I, I feel like, um, you know, genet yeah, that guy's in great shape, you know, from, from a genetic standpoint, um, I feel like I, I got pretty good genetics, but at the same time, you know, my dad's like five, two, you know, or five, three, if he's, you know, on, on a, on a tall day for him. Um, and, uh, I took pretty well to lifting though, you know, when I was young, I, mm -hmm. I got, I got strong pretty fast. Uh, I was always able to gain weight and there's some people that, you know, they exercise, 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 and they can't seem to either get lean or gain muscle. They can't really seem to do either one, even when they, even when they try hard. Yeah. Uh, you got other athletes, uh, like Omar Isaf, you know, who's, uh, who's been talking about being a natural athlete for a long time, who also has a YouTube channel, which is very, really highly successful. And he obviously doesn't look the way that you look. He obviously isn't nearly as, nearly as big. And so, I mean, it's just, people are going to have different genetics. They're going to have different starting points in their life. But where I think I really, uh, excelled was the fact that it, it, I don't even know if call it excelled where I really benefited, I should say, is that both of my parents were present, you know, both of my parents were there for everything for me and they were always so supportive of me. So mm -hmm. I, I feel so spoiled in my life. I feel like, um, you know, people are always so, uh, excited and like, man, you worked your ass off to, and I, and I have worked hard. I have put in a great effort to, to, to do a lot of these things, but I yeah. also feel like I shouldn't really be that credited because, uh, I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth and I'm not talking about like wealth. I'm not talking about, uh, that I came from, you know, some, uh, uh, family in England that was a, a Kings or Queens or anything like that. But, mm -hmm. uh, I was really, really lucky. My parents were there for everything. They were supportive of everything. They supported me, whether I told them that I wanted to be a pro wrestler or a professional football player. Yeah. Uh, it just didn't matter what it was. And I had both of them there to like nurture me and to, I had my dad there to show me how to throw a baseball and to catch a football. Mm -hmm. And I had my mom there, you know, to uh, kiss my boo-boos when I fell down. And yeah. I was babied. I was the baby of the family. I was baby of the entire family, not just my own uh, immediate family, not just with my brothers, but also of the entire family, which is, we have a huge family and I was mm -hmm. the baby of the family for like nine years until, uh, you know, another, another, uh, burst of kids kind of came along, but you know, I got, I got just the Royal treatment all the time. 